Hi. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> I don't believe they're there, so welcome to the podcast. Oops. I'm Jillian. <laughs> I'm Jillian. And we're, oh, we're off to a good start. We are off to a really good start. Um, this is the Little Red Mitten podcast. We are at the Little Red Mitten in St. Thomas, Ontario. And it's been a few weeks. It has. I think it's been like a month. I don't even Probably. Know. I don't even Did know. we record before Woolstock? Was that the last time we recorded? I think so. I don't know if we recorded mm. when we came back from there or not. We should have checked these things. Hmm? It might have changed what I was going to show and stuff. Whatever. I'm going to show what I've got and then catch up next time. Because <laughs> I don't have much with me. I've got stuff at home. Um, yeah. Do you, have anything, do you have anything finished? I don't yeah. even know. Okay, I finished, <laughs> I finished something last night. I don't have anything finished right here, I don't think. I finished something last night. Mm-hmm. I started it last night. So I had, and finished yeah, it last I night? I had a nap when I put my son to bed, and then we'll I woke up, up too late. and I was like, oh, I should go to bed, and then I looked on my phone for something, and I was like, oh, yeah, I wanted to make this, and so I <laughs> stayed up and made it. I made a crocheted Christmas ornament. Oh, that's really cute. Oh, it's crocheted. Yeah. So That's this really one's cool. a little, I, I had some like plastic, I can't take it off, it's like crocheted, not around it, but like it's, yeah. anyway. Um, my really Christmas cool. balls are a little bit too small for this, so I think I'll, I'll do another one. I have, I found some pretty red yarn in my stash, I'm going to make a couple for my tree. Um, Gio claimed this one this morning, he's like, can I put it on my tree? And I was like, sure. Aww. So I'll just take a couple stitches off because it's a pretty easy one, but it's, um, I think her name is Brianna K Designs or something like that. I probably should look that up first, but I'll, we'll put it somewhere for you. But yeah, so it's knit flat. It's, it's crocheted right, flat. It's crocheted <laughs> flat. And then you seam up the back and then you just put the, bo- the ornament inside and like, is it stitch, <laughs> stitch around it and you just pull it. Um, through. Is it Tunisian? No, it's not. It's it's done through like the. I third. don't know enough about crochet. It's apparently. done. This is just baubles. I keep shaking the table. This is just baubles here. Okay. And then this is done through the third loop, so it pushes the V's of the crochet, like the top of the crochet, which you would normally go into, like yeah. forward, right? So then it looks like knit stitches going down. Yeah, and then the, but this in between looks like garter or reverse no. or, or pearl reverse stock or in it. Yeah. yeah, that's interesting. Like my crochet skills, I, don't, I haven't done enough. Um, so I was like, it, it didn't take me that long. It took me a couple yeah. hours, but not That's really cool. like two hours, if if that. Um, yeah, Brianna K Designs. She has a whole series on. I don't know what she calls this because it's at the top. It's but um, with a whole bunch of different things. I don't see it on here, but Sorry, yeah, they look cute and she's done them like in different weights and stuff like that. I don't know if her pattern tells you exactly how to modify it or not. I didn't notice that specifically in there. Mm-hmm. She does give you like a hook size and stuff. I also used, I made something else crocheted and it was really, really tight. So I had a 4.25 millimeter hook beside the couch. And so that's what I used. It called, it asked for a four millimeter hook. You had a 4.25? Yeah. Hmm. It's right here. Um, so if I had done a four, it might have been okay, but it might have been tighter. I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It was cute. Really and I'll cool. make a couple more of them because they were Until fun. you get bored of it. Yeah. Okay. So that's... That's really cool. One thing. What time did you stay up till then? I was in bed after, just after midnight. I had a two-hour nap. It's fine. Anything else? Do you want to show stuff? Or let me just show you. You should show your stuff. I don't have a lot. Oh, I totally forgot about this. See, I was ready to record like two weeks ago, and uh, I for- been. I forgot that I had this. So this is what was it called? <laughs> I don't know. I saw. I didn't even know you made it. Um, <laughs> It's the one no- it's Noel made. Like friend of a friend or something oh, like that. Yeah. So Stella was in and she wanted to make one. So then I decided that I was going to make one. I did. Noel's such an influencer because I know Stella wanted to make it because Noel made it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. then 
Um, I was like, oh, that's pretty. I figured I liked the, it's even blocked and I think the ends woven in. Who am I? Um, I can do it. Vintage chunky. Yes. In the magenta color. Yes. That's all I know. I didn't know you made it, but I can tell my yarns. <laughs> um, yeah, I thought it would be nice for around the shop because I'm always cold, mm-hmm. but I don't like, I can still move around. I can't lift things up. But well, I can you still can. Mo- you can. It will just look, it will just keep popping oh, up. Oh, yeah. But I can still move around the shop yeah. and do a lot of things because my arms are free. And, ty- and, and this typing. Part, and it actually- keeps my neck warm and stuff like that. So I think it'll be pretty. I might embroider. Mm-hmm. Something on it. I have a couple embroidery patches. I think we're sold out of the ones. Yeah, from, I need to put in another order from her. But um, I, I I bought a couple endless yeah. embroidery patches. Yeah, and put somewhere something or duplicate stitch something over top of it. But it, I knit it in a day. Uh, I'm gonna say a week. I cast it on on like Friday night after knit night because I never cast anything on. Like I never accomplished anything during knit night and. I took it with me on my girls' weekend away. So that was the fourth. And I think I finished it like that, like Monday or Tuesday. So yeah. yeah so that night, so you, that's when you cast it on though, then just the night before. The, the, the Friday night, yeah. yeah. Anyway, I really like it. I think it's nice. I'll wear it around the shop maybe today. It's nice. I like it. You should embroider it though, for sure. I totally forgot that I had this in there. <laughs> <laughs> We've been trying not to show each other stuff that um, we don't already know about or whatever, just so yeah. that we can have some surprises on here. And Jillian's like, can, are we recording or can I just show you stuff? <laughs> I'm going to show you what I made. <laughs> so. um, I think that's it for whips, except for this. For FOs? Yeah. Or both? Nope. Whips. Nope. FOs. <laughs> My goodness. Okay, well, I don't have any FOs with me. I have a couple whips. This one, I'll, t- I'll show this. Should I show this one? Yeah, then with that. Okay, I will show this one. And then this, these were laying here. You might have saw it on our Instagram. Is that where we were talking about? Yeah. Um, this hat out of Estelle Colorflow. Um, so it's a self-striping bulky weight yarn. And so... Uh, this got finished in the last couple weeks here, but it was laying here for us to show and my memory has been really messed up. And I thought for a second I made it. I didn't. <laughs> my, kid, <laughs> my kid made it as a shop sample for us, but because I posted it and we've been talking about it and we were writing it up how to yep. do it. I like in my head, this was mine. It's not mine. I did not make it, but it is yours. I will, I'm going to weave in the ends. That's... I, That's about all I'm going to do I on thought it. I wove in the ends on mine. Which is actually pretty ironic, actually. Yes. <laughs> if that, like, I don't weave in my own ends, but I will weave in the ends on this one. So it turned out pretty good. Oh, you should vote in the comments below and see if she actually does, if you think she do will or right not. Now. Do it right now. Oh, you do have a needle on It's here. so cute. It is really cute. I have one, too. So, Jillian, I'm going to get warm, but I'll wear it while you talk about yours. I didn't mind the same. I actually made this one. <laughs> Jillian did make hers. Um, I just changed the way we I did the top. So I basically, for our pattern, there is a base on Insta- instructions on Instagram with a picture of Jolene wearing this hat um, on how to do it. We will write it up mm-hmm. and put it out there. Yeah, so I did pretty, the top pretty, of mine. It's pretty simple. Yeah. But, um, at the top. And then I made... <laughs> I had what? I'll finish that. She did the top of hers oh. at the top. Yeah. She <laughs> did a row of, a, a round of knit two together all the way around and yes. then cinched it um, closed. Where with this one, we did a three needle bind off yeah. just straight across all the stitches. <laughs> but she did the top of hers at the top. So that's good, I think good instructions. Look, I think it would look good if you did it at the bottom too. But uh, if it doesn't fit you, that's. If you did it at the bottom, then you'd have to do it double the length so you can do the mm-hmm. in between ones. Um, it takes just over one ball to do for like an adult yeah. sized hat. So I made like a child sized version as well <laughs> so that I could match Jolins. And I put little they owl like tufts little owl. on it. But yeah, like Jolin says, it looks ridiculous on me. I like it. And so I think I will claim this one as mine instead of a child's one. 
We have to try it on a kid, though. And I'll keep sure forgetting. To, I keep the... forgetting to try it on Geo, but Geo has like the same size head as me, but it might not. It look still as looks different. Ridiculous the, on him. The, 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 the depth head. and everything. We'll just have to. I don't know. But yeah, folded up rims and stuff like that, and then. But yeah, we'll get that pattern out soon. Maybe not for when the podcast goes live, but soon. We can put some of the instructions in the bottom there, though, because mm. for the basic adult stuff, it's. Yeah. It's pretty simple. Yeah. I'm taking this off now because it's going to be too hot. And to mess up my hair. So that's a finished object that I didn't finish. And two more for Jillian. I don't know if we're counting. Are we counting? We are at three. I don't know. You're at three. Yeah. All right. You can go ahead. You got more. I have a whip. Just one? Um... I feel like you finished more things since then. I think so. It feels like we've been forever. I washed and blocked my ranunculus. But you it's wore that long. last time. But right? I've worn it several times already. Like, it wasn't. But we recorded with it. You yeah. wore it. Yeah. yeah. I made a slipper. Oh, my goodness gracious. It's crocheted. And it's made out of Edo. That's fun. And it doesn't fit me because my tension, like, I was like, it's so tight. So do you, you knit loose, do you crochet tight? Typically, or I, just, I don't know. I think it's because I haven't crocheted in forever. Yeah. Right? So I've done a lot of crochet right now. But I, like, was going... I was following the pattern. And I keep hitting the table. Yeah. Um, I was following the pattern. There's two sizes. And I wasn't thinking about my gauge for it. Mm -hmm. Like, it just fits. But it's got, like, a little lip, like, here. Mm -hmm. So I think I'll make the second one bigger. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't know is if that I should... all there is to it? Like, that's it? Yeah, that's the slipper. That's weird. I could put it on my foot and hold it up if you'd like. No, thanks. <laughs> um, I just, I think, like, a flip-flop of... I don't know, maybe it's okay. I don't know. That's It's a sitting slipper. It's like a bed sock, in my opinion. Walking I, in this doesn't I know. sound like I'll a... have to... Well, yeah, it's going to be very slippery. Well, and just like this. I know, but that seems short, right? So I don't yeah. know if that's just because of... Anyway. Because not, I'm not crocheting for a while. If I should... The second one that I make, I'll make, like, two more so that... Whatever. Can you do short? Like, Is that oh, what you did up here? Is it, like, short rows? Um, they're, is that what they're called? They're, um, like, double crochet, triple crochet kind of thing. Uh, and then single okay. crochets to get the yeah. the bigger part. It's a free pattern. That's really on, cool. From Noro. Yeah, the pattern was written by Noro. For, um, for for the Edo or for cr cr Crayon? Yeah. Yeah. One. But it's... Yeah, so I don't know if I should go up a needle or hook size and try again, or if I should just do the larger size and keep the same hook size, because it's a nice would be, fabric. If you're going to wear them, I would say go up the size, because just keep the, the, same, the denser, the denser yeah. you're going to wear through it, like, not as fast and stuff yeah. like that, so... So, I, nice. I will cute. make... I love Edo. Was this the ball of Edo you've had forever, just yes. sitting... Yeah, I bought a ball at Edo, like, when I first started here, like, so probably two years ago now. It's, I've been here three years, but um, I was like, I'm going to make it out of that. So I don't, I do have the color. I think it's number four, which we don't have right now, but it's so fun. I love it. Uh, and I think it took me, like, two or three nights to do. It's fun. It wasn't as hard to put together. I think I, I missed, when I was looking at the picture, I missed something somewhere there's one more step or something like that or i was supposed to do like the slip stitch step step like all the way around mm -hmm. this part two or something i don't know anyway it kind of fits but it, i thought i'll make the second one a little bit bigger those would be perfect for the like the leather patches the the heel mm. and toe ones yeah um it's just just the right shape i think for that yeah so that was fun i liked that And then, hey, there's my needles. I was wondering where all my needles were in the bottom of my bag. Okay, I can show it. I know I've been casting on and starting a lot of things. I just don't know what they are. So I have a couple things here that I was able to find. I did forget a whole project bag of stuff um, at home. So I know there's stuff there, and I'll just show that next time. But... Uh, I feel like there's more because it feels like I've been starting things all the time. And yeah, but I don't, 
I don't know that you cast like you were in a cast on mood, and I don't know if you um, kept on casting on things or yet if you stopped because I was telling you that you needed to work on your mystery one. So I don't know if you've yeah. been working on that and that's the, like that's the other thing. <clears throat> um, so. Uh, Plus you do I'm pretty sure we met, mentioned it on here, but we're doing a mystery project where we don't know what we're, what each other's working on. Mm-hmm. The assignment was four colors of Cascade 220, so worsted weight, four colors, and a garment. Um, and then I think everybody's taken their own rules, however we heard them, so that's how that's going. <laughs> but basically, <laughs> basically uh, we know each other's colors, but we don't know what they're making. So um, the goal was to have it done for this past Monday, and we decided we'd give ourselves a two-week extension. I have to say, though, it was a short. It was a short um, goal. It was, it was. It was like. It was and like. I'm, it was like six weeks, and then I don't think we started for a week or two. So it was only like. Four it was like weeks. four weeks. It was like four weeks, especially from the time like Angie joined, yeah. and then Tara joined a lot later than that. Yeah. Um, yeah. but. Um, I'm impressed with how much I've got done for that short period of time. Somehow. How much do you have done? I don't know. What is the sweater called? I don't know. (laughs) Who said it was a sweater? The word was garment. You see, that's what I said. We interpreted it however we wanted. Yes. (laughs) So, um, uh, I tried to be vague and then, yeah, I, and I don't remember anything I say, so that's part of it so anyway that has been my main project and i have gotten a significant amount done and haven't really lost interest in it i lost interest in it my house is really really destroyed though and um i just haven't been getting a lot done so um but the house is moving along Mm -hmm. i'll have insulation next monday so it won't be half freezing. So there's this really cool phenomenon in my house right now because it's really cold out. I shouldn't call it really cold because when it gets cold, it will hurt. It'll be, it gets it'll cold be out painful. Right now. It's not really cold though. <laughs> it'll be painful. Anyway, so the extension part of my house, which is my entire like kitchen um, area, is is stripped down to the studs. There's no attic. There's no insulation in the walls. It's like completely stripped down, and we have it like blocked off, but. It's still part of the house. The heating ductwork and everything goes out there and everything. So um, with the temperature drop, like that part of the house is cold. Um, And then my room, which is above where the furnace is, um, the other day was 26 degrees because the thermostat is like, but we're not reaching the temperature we want. So it's blowing heat, but it's staying in my room. And it was really gross. And um, I don't appreciate it. It's not fun. <laughs> so I get insulation next week and that will be that will be good. So I started this thing. What is it? A thing. Cool. It's a shawl, but then it might be a cowl. I might do like a bandana cowl. I just might be random about it. But... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> who knows? Um, I think I started it. You love Serpentina. Sunday? Did, would I have started this Sunday? Probably. Maybe. Um, Sunday or Monday? Yeah. Your dad started it Saturday. Like I don't think I. Weekend, I, I don't think I had. So. I think I just. I think I just grabbed it. Um, the other day. Um, what I kind of was doing was the tessels in the sky. Mm-hmm. So I just started with like, I don't know, does it cast on three or something? Yeah. You cast on three and you increase at the end, the beginning and the end of each row. And so you get a long, um, shallow is the word I yeah. think I'm looking for, a triangle that goes. And so... But this is a heavier weight, so I've got like a chunky with mohair where um, Tassels is in the Sky uses the slub, which is a fingering weight held with mohair. And so I went up a needle size. I think I would like it bigger needles. Would you just switch now? 
You get, could. A dra- get a drapier or rip yeah. it out and start again. Yeah. I don't want to rip it out when it's held with mohair. It doesn't sound like fun. Um, but the then it got to like here, and I'm like, oh, if I joined it in the round and knit up like you a could just now now just knit it flat, like don't increase anymore. Yeah, if it's long enough to go around, then you could yeah, just pretty much is I think I'll right. Just... Then now just knit it up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So so yeah, increase beginning and end of round. It's a free pattern. The, the tassels in a sky, in the sky, so you can go check it out. But uh, this is also just a basic shape, so I don't feel like I'm giving away any secrets. But um, this one is stuck in it. So increase at the beginning and end of every round, and you knit on the front side and purl on the back side. And I'd like to make like a garter that's it. one because I don't. I, garter I, would be. Lovely. I don't I mind probably should have made purling, this. but I don't mind purling for either. E- for an easy project, it's garter's nice. A lot of purling. Garter's nice, and I like the squishiness of it. This this yeah. would have been beautiful in garter. So this is. Ah, rip it out then. This Here, is, let me do it for you. Do you want to? No. Oh, okay, this is Serpentina by Manos, which is a hand spun chunky weight. So it's hand spun in Uruguay. And it's, it's a really single, pretty. and it's just got little speckles of color that aren't dyed on. They're spun in, so like they mm-hmm. must just add. I don't know if the fiber was dyed or if they just like kind of grab little bits of different colors while they're spinning and let it blend in. But it's absolutely beautiful. And. Um, yeah, I've done I've done a few things with this. I've done a hat, and I've held it with a it. super bulky. Yeah. We've had it for a long time. It doesn't it doesn't fly off the shelves by any means, but it is so lovely, and I can never part with it. Like I go to put it on sale, and we'll put it on sale for a little bit, and whatever doesn't go, I'm like, it just can stay still because I just absolutely love it. And so, I am making this of it, and I don't know if this might be a gift. Um, you want, I have, if you I want to rip it out, we, can, it. we can stick it in the freezer. I don't think it. it would be too bad. I would just, this isn't, wouldn't take too long to knit. So I'd either yeah. just rip it out into a pile and sit there and knit it. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, or yeah, one of us could or do you each. you finish that one and make a second one. Yeah. Because it doesn't Yeah, this is, like ro- this is long. rolling, but I don't think it's a big deal. I think it's just because it's stuck in it right now. I don't think it's that it's too tight. Like, it's not a bad gauge. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, just, didn't, it didn't feel like It would be tight. nice. It's pro- I probably should just make this one the the cowl. Mm-hmm. And I probably could do it with one skein because I'm like, yeah. Um, where for the shawl, I didn't know if I would need two or three even. Mm. Where the tassel's in the sky because it's fingering weight three is only pro- one. Three probably would be nice because it'll be big enough, right, to mm-hmm. be able to, like, wrap around or yeah. whatever. I think three would be amazing. If you didn't want it as wide, would you just do beginning and every other every other row so you could do beginning and end every other row or you can just do beginning of the row so that each end gets mm. one which is nice and easy because then it just yes. especially then, if then it's garter then you're tra- not trying to figure out <laughs> which end which row you mm-hmm. increased on especially if it's garter because yeah. then it's just like knit front and back knit across knit front and back knit across yeah. everything's exactly the same so um what I want. I just want big, chunky, easy. <laughs> then yeah, it would get it would get it would get wider, slower. Yeah. Um, yeah. And make a more a more traditional triangle kind of shape. Okay. So I started that, worked on it for like a day, and then I haven't touched it. And then started something new. Yeah. Pretty much exactly what I did. Okay. We have ten minutes till the store opens. Okay, we're gonna wrap up. Um. It's good because I don't really have much. I took home some super bulky from my scraps or from my partial balls or whatever you want to call them and did some granny squares, just all one color. And then I did a single crochet all around. It's like I can't even, the TV, the TV, the screen is not going to. Can you feel to, it? Can you feel it? Why like, is it not focusing on this stuff? Anyway. That's better. Um, this it is. It's so squishy. This old ba- this is my old base that I found a partial ball of, which is a little plumper, um, a little less yardage, and it is like so thick. I love it. I still like. I prefer the the new base, um, which is not new new. This was just because this was a partial ball in my stash. It's been a, we've had that base for quite a while, um, but this one is like when I was crocheting it, it was just like so, so thick. Anyway, absolutely love it. And then I did a mixed one. I was just playing, like these took minutes. 
um, a piece, and I just wanted to play with super bulky. I might put them together and do a scarf. Just like, that would be fun. Just piece them all together and do a nice scrappy scarf. I really don't have that much left of these two colors. Like they were both just partial balls of a super bulky, which super bulky doesn't go far to begin with. Um, and then I've got plenty of white, so I'll just see what else I can find because I'm you sure there's other partial balls around. Yeah, or partial balls, or just do a bunch of white ones and do white in between each one or something like that. So you've got a couple of the end ones. Or I'll just grab know. a new. I'll just grab a new skein or something. But I don't have a ton of super bulky in stock right now, so I don't want to just take it for the sake of taking it. Mm -hmm. But and I don't think I might have some Rasta around. Partial balls of Rasta, maybe from my from some previous things. I have past, like. But. I have. Password, I think. Mm. Maybe creamsicle. If you want to add that in there, that would be weird. <laughs> okay, we want to wrap up faster. So those are the only things I brought that I've been working on and that I finished. Um, we have had. Um, okay, I'm just gonna show this. This came in. What's the name of this pattern? <gasps> Just to be difficult. Is it way worn or something like that? I don't know. We might put it on the screen. This is a mohair shawl, mohair held single. Does it still have a stitch marker on it? I hope it does because that will be good. Yes, it does. Okay, so <laughs> we, we started this shawl as a sample for the Leo and Roxy shows and Tara started it. Hi, Tara. And she's like, I don't like working with mohair single and didn't she didn't. To be fair, she didn't like working with mohair to begin before. With. And, so she and had about like probably this much done. It looked like right. So, and she handed it off. You did a few rows. I or? was like, I, I did a couple. I was not like, a lot. I wasn't trying. I so was this, just picking it up. This little while. stitch marker is where the team at Little Red Mitten gave up, <laughs> and then all of this is what Noelle finished for us for this sample. That's hilarious. She's like, I left this stitch marker here. I'm like. It's really Thanks. pretty. I'm I glad. I think I we haven't. should like we should like put something here like permanent to just show. I haven't even like tried it on or even played with it. But yeah, it goes like um it's stockinette for this part. Yeah. The stripe. Striped two color stripe there. And then you pick up those stitches and then you knit the other way. And it looks like there's like pearl ridges or something like that. Yeah, it's, it's like a yeah. couple couple rows of stock in it and then a pearl ridge or whatever. But I don't know. If, yeah, you can see that better on that one. And then it is so lightweight. Like this, it's so probably pretty, weighs though. less than two hundred grams. Probably a hundred. Yeah. Oh wait, she used... 50, 75. Like less than one hundred and fifty grams. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's super lightweight. You could like. We'll probably try not to wrinkle it too much, but you could pack that up for travel. Oh, yeah. It's so small, so lightweight, and it would keep you so warm still. It's really nice. Anyway, I wanted to show that off. Julian brought, found this deep in her, I don't know, what you, where did you find it? It doesn't matter. And the bag of stuff <laughs> that I was going to donate that wasn't supposed to be donated. Like, no, it wasn't. Like, I had some... Uh, like older yarn on top and something like that and I went to go look at it I pulled out and I was like uh nope that can't be it <laughs> but I knew I had something like this and I don't remember what it's called uh look at we found it we'll put we'll put the name of the pattern up it's crocheted it's a triangle it's a triangle shawl and it's in the caracal yeah by Malabrigo and we did just get this in the store a couple mm -hmm. weeks ago um I think we showed it last time we recorded yeah yes so um, that's because really exciting. I so that screenshot of it online. Hanging, that's hanging out at the store as a sample now. So it's the Chunky Triangle Shawl by Vicki Howell. And I mm. used two balls of that on 15.75 millimeter hook. And it took me four hours to make. It was another and one what, of those. And what year was it? Like 20... 2017. Yeah. Um, it says, it's like two skeins of yarn and a 15.75 millimeter hook and four hours left before bed equals the completed shawl. Yeah. So who knows what time I actually went to bed at, though. All right. So let's quickly show some new in store and okay. then wrap up um, before the store actually opens. So we have gotten a couple things in store. I think there's probably more, but we haven't been good at keeping track. So yeah. um, to start... All the marled things have come in. Mm, yes. All the marled things. So we got a shipment 
of um, shot ball. So we've got um, a bunch of colors of crazy. I only brought a couple sample colors, not all of them, but the um, sorry, this is actually uh, the Stark Six, the um, DK weight one. Um, so we've got a few colors of that. Um, that one is this. No, this is crazy. Um, and then we got the crazy refilled, which is the fingering weight sock yarn. Um, this sock yarn lasts forever. I love my socks made out of this. I have a nice rainbow pair. I really like this one. It's got like all the bright. They're, they're all fun. they're all so pretty. They're really nice. So um, the website shows too. them like a close up of the ball and Look then. Look at that with your sweater. <gasps> I know I want this in the DK weight though. Um, a close up, and then it shows you how it stripes on the webs on our website, so you can actually see how they kind of all the colors in it because it's hard to see them in the balls. But and then edition three came in a little DK um, fifty gram balls. These ones are one hundred percent merino. The Stark six, which is the same weight, is a merino nylon that's good for socks. This one's great for sweaters. We have samples. Yep. Did we do that? We have the this, shawl. We have the, we the have shawl and we have, was it in the sweater? sweater? Is it, yeah. Was that what, within the... Um, so they're both uh, Andrea Maori patterns. We have it in the um, shift shawl or shifty or sh shift cowl. One of the it's shift like cowl the ones. And one. then the shift again cardigan mm, that's, that's what is the other one that we used to this as the like gradient bumps in it. And then Patagonia is the main color. So... That's restocked. Um, one more color just for fun. Domino. Black and grays. Uh, and this past weekend, um, Jess and Allison of Full Moon Fibers were here. And we had a great trunk show, great knit night. It was really mm -hmm. busy on the knit night and everything. It was wonderful to have them back. It's been a year. We had been doing like twice a year for a yeah, little bit there. We and missed, we been, missed the... We the springtime. Yeah. So, um, and our supply of their yarns had went down completely too. So they were here for the weekend. Thanks for coming out and visiting if you could make it. But if you couldn't, they brought us our order to restock our shelves. So um, I just brought minis up, but we do have full size skeins of sock yarn as well. I just brought a little selection. Pink. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> They're all hitting the ground. So anyway, we got some minis and we got full size sock yarn. So that's uh, an 80-20 merino nylon um, sock yarn. And we refilled our slub. So many good colors. Um, so that's restocked as well. And, and then Jess brought some she went around. <laughs> um, Jessica from J. Henry brought some large project bags. This is amazing. So this new pocket bag, this whole front panel is a pocket. So this whole front thing is its own pocket. And then you've got your project bag zipper. It's huge. Yeah. So that's really cool. It's a nice way to separate things, stop stuff from getting tangled. Put the pattern in one spot or your extra stuff. Oh, I... A different, I have a different fabric to show. Same bag. Cool. Yeah. I love this mushroom fabric. You have a little bag in this? I have a little one in yeah. that. I was like, ooh, do I need a big one in yeah. it? It's so nice. And the then, bag is attacking me. <laughs> I quickly showed, I think I already put one down somewhere wrong. Yeah, I did. This is just what I got this weekend. Because, Sorry. And I'm not sharing. So I already broke one apart. This was a sock set. <laughs> you changed, yeah. <laughs> this was a sock set that had two minis with it. So it was a Nebula sock set. This one's called Wolfsbane. And it had a green mini and an orange mini with it. But I thought the orange looked really good with time spent together. So I moved it over there. And the green went really good with Willow. So I moved Which it over there. Which she picked up like six times. Like, oh, this is gosh. pretty. And then How the same I seen... thing in the back with the minis. You're pulling out a mini. Oh, it's Willow. During the trunk show, somebody set, sat a skein of willow down and I'm like how haven't I seen that yet I picked it up I had already had a full conversation with Jess and Allison about willow and the name and a, creating a series on it because <laughs> weeping willows are my favorite tree and we had this whole conversation watched Allison 
uh, other Allison, yep. set down this skein. And I went, how haven't I seen that yet? I pick it up. I read the back. It said Willow. I'm like, oh, okay. And anyway, so it did come home with me. I don't think we ordered this in full size. Mm-hmm. I don't think we actually have it in stock. It probably will have to be in our next one just because of that alone. But yeah, match that one. Turns this one. Really pretty. It was one that I kept eyeing. This one on Friday night. So we didn't even get to the full trunk show day. A couple did end up lasting till Saturday, but this mm. is candy cane ice cream. Yeah. People were going crazy over it on Saturday night and it was the piles going down, going down, and they brought quite a bit. Yeah. And so I was carrying this around the store to make sure nobody took it on me. <laughs> there were still some for Saturday, but that one needed to come home with me. And then this one's for my kid out and about, which I think we do have on slow. Uh, we've had it before. Had it before. I don't know what. I don't know what. Colors we got. I don't know if we've got it this time or not, but um, yeah, another out and about. So that was my personal, and then this the socks at the Wolfbane. So that was my personal purchases from the trunk show. Just thought I'd show that off. I only got I only got I only got two skeins, but I did not bring their you didn't bring them. They're at my it. desk. That's right. I'm collecting from each trunk show if they have them DK yarns. I want to make. DK mm-hmm. socks. And I remembered why the other day. Um, somebody has a pattern coming out December 1st. It's like a slouchy, so it's like ribbed at the top. And then just like a, like a regular sock and then like ribbed, so it's like nice and squishy and slouchy. Yeah. So I've been collecting DK <laughs> sock here for that. Okay. One more new thing, new in store. Glad I didn't forget this. So this just mm-hmm. got delivered last week. I've been waiting for it for months. Are you ready? <laughs> This is Marla by Mano Still Uruguay, and it is a, a marled, gorgeous DK weight. It's so pretty. It is so beautiful. Like if you were here probably last Thursday or Friday when we were Friday. all here Thursday, it was on the table and we were playing with it and making oh, yeah. color combos. It came with Sammy. Yes. Which is a solid, well, yeah. a semi-solid. Yes. Yeah, like it's a it's a hand dyed tonal semi solid in the same in the same base. Oh yeah, I got the ones that match with the. So there are a few more colors. I grabbed a selection, but yeah, people were. But they go so pretty. Like they go with so mm. many colors and stuff like that. Like a lot of the. Anyway, they're really. There's so they're many really little pretty. flecks of color. Like this one, you know, is gonna read blue, but like there's. You could put it with the gold red, and with the gold. green and everything in there. It's beautiful. I think it would be a pretty um, shift cowl. Oh no, snuggle is real. Is what I was thinking. Mm, use use like this as the main and yeah. like this behind that and for then your little blips and stuff like that. Something mm-hmm. else. All right, I think it's time for us to wrap up. There's our loom getting oh, returned. returned. So um, yeah, so thanks for coming to see us, visit us, whatever. We'll see you again next time. All right. Bye. Bye.